Have you ever wondered how a simple gel application eases your pain? Today's episode is your front row seat to the science behind it. Welcome curious minds. Today we are venturing into the world of pain relieving gels. Discover the secrets behind pain relieving gels and learn how they relieve your everyday aches and pains. Pain relief gels are far from recent discovery. Their existence spans many generations. In ancient times, people ingeniously crafted various natural concoctions from herbs and other plant products, harnessing the power of nature to create soothing balms, oils, and creams for alleviating pain. The concept of pain relief gels is ancient and it's challenging to pinpoint an exact date for the formation of the first pain relief gel. From the mysterious concoctions of ancient Chinese healers to the aromatic balms of the Egyptians, the history of pain relief spans across cultures and echoes through the corridors of time. It is found that many cultures have been using natural substances like herbs and plant extracts for medicinal purposes, including pain relief for centuries. The formulation of these remedies evolved over time as different botanical ingredients were explored. Some of the famous pain relief topicals spanning from ancient to modern times are willow bark poultice of ancient Greece and Rome, opium poppy salve of ancient Mesopotamia and Egypt, meadow sweet ointment of medieval Europe, frankincense and myrrh balms of ancient Middle East and Asia, arnica cream, peppermint rubs, cyan pepper salves and wintergreen balms from various eras and many more. Jumping back to our focus, in the modern context, the development of commercial pain relief gels started gaining momentum in the 20th century with advancements in the pharmaceutical and cosmetic industries. In our previous video, we learned how paracetamol works as an analgesic. Analgesics are medications that relieve pain. Paracetamol is taken as tablets or syrups and sometimes even intravenously. But what about addressing pain at its source? Enter topical analgesics, a contemporary solution tailored to target localized discomfort. Topical analgesics are medications applied to the skin to relieve muscle, joint, or nerve pain. They get absorbed by the skin and act on the tissue beneath. They are available as pain relieving creams, lotions, rubs, gels, and sprays. Let's delve into the molecular realm of these gels. Most formulations boast active ingredients such as menthol, camphor, or NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. These components, carefully chosen, work in harmony to bring relief. Let us explore the top 5 active ingredients now. Menthol Menthol produces a cooling sensation that can help alleviate pain and discomfort. It activates the TRPM8 receptors in the skin responsible for sensing cool temperatures. This activation leads to a cooling sensation on the skin. This cooling sensation can create a numbing effect which helps reduce the perception of pain. In addition to this, it also has vasodilatory properties, that is, it can widen blood vessels. This can improve blood flow to the affected area, potentially reducing inflammation and promoting a sense of relief. It is often used to address minor aches and pains such as those associated with muscle strains, joint pain, and headaches. Camphor Camphor is known for its pain relieving properties and has been used in traditional medicine for centuries. Camphor is a white crystalline substance with a distinctive aroma derived from the wood of the camphor tree or synthesized from the turpentine oil. It works similarly to menthol in the cooling and numbing sensation. Next on our list is methyl salicylate found in wintergreen oil. Wintergreen oil has been traditionally used for pain relief in various cultures. The active compound in wintergreen oil is methyl salicylate, which is closely related to aspirin and has anti-inflammatory and analgesic pain relieving properties. Next, let us explore a bit about NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. NSAIDs work by inhibiting the activity of enzymes called cyclooxygenases COX1 and COX2 that play a role in the production of prostaglandins. We explored prostaglandins in our previous video on paracetamol. For those who missed it, <laughs> go and watch it. Anyway, prostaglandins are a group of hormone-like substances derived from fatty acids that lead to pain, inflammation and fever. Capsaicin. Capsaicin is a compound found in chili peppers. This gives rise to its heat generating properties. 
It works by depleting a neurotransmitter called substance P, which is involved in transmitting pain signals. By interfering with the transmission of pain signals, capsaicin effectively reduces the perception of pain in the treated area. With repeated or prolonged exposure to capsaicin, the sensory nerve becomes desensitized. This means that they become less responsive to pain signals over time. This makes it particularly useful for conditions characterized by chronic pain such as arthritis or neuropathic pain. Numerous other active ingredients function like those mentioned above. The true magic unfolds in the intricate dance between these chemicals and our bodies. Whether it's the refreshing coolness of menthol, the analgesic prowess of camphor, or the potent anti-inflammatory action of NSAIDs, understanding these interactions is key to comprehending their efficacy. The active ingredients are blended into gel bases incorporating supporting components such as emollients for seamless application and thickening agents to improve consistency. The end result is a finished product. Let us see the ingredients of some of the most famous pain relieving topicals now. First is Move Cream. From the image, we can see that the key ingredients include wintergreen oil and mint extract from our top 5 ingredients. Next in the list is Warney gel. The key ingredients in Warney include methyl salicylate and menthol from our list. Next is Tiger Balm. Tiger Balm's active ingredient include camphor and menthol. Next comes Biofreeze menthol spray. Its active ingredients include menthol. Finally, Amardhanjan spray. The active ingredient include the same camphor and menthol. From this, it is evident that at least one of the active ingredients in our list is used in the famous pain relieving topicals. Transitioning from theory to practice, let's explore real world applications. From sports injuries demanding swift recovery to the ongoing challenges of chronic pain management, pain relieving gels have etched their success stories in various scenarios. Allow me to provide a few instances of practical applications in real life now. Athletes often apply pain relief gels to alleviate soreness and muscle aches after intense workouts or competitions. Individuals with chronic pain such as those with arthritis or fibromyalgia use pain relief gels to enhance daily comfort and mobility. People experiencing tension headaches or migraines may apply pain relief gels to the temples and neck to help ease discomfort. Individuals with minor injuries such as bruises or sprains often turn to pain relief gels to minimize swelling and promote healing. Pain relief gels are utilized by those suffering from neuropathic pain to manage symptoms and improve their overall quality of life. Through this, we see that pain relief gels stand as invaluable tools in enhancing comfort and managing localized pain across various medical and daily life scenarios. Every coin has two sides. Now that we've explored the positive aspects, let's turn our attention to the flip side of the spectrum. While pain relief gels can be effective for managing localized pain, they also come with potential drawbacks. Let us see some of the common drawbacks associated with the use of pain relief gels. Skin irritation. Some individuals may experience skin irritation, redness or a burning sensation at the application site. This can be particularly true for those with sensitive skin. Allergic reactions. Certain individuals may be allergic to specific ingredients in pain relief gels leading to allergic reactions. It is essential to check for allergens and perform a patch test before widespread use. Unpleasant odor. Some pain relief gels may have a strong or unpleasant odor which can be bothersome for some users, especially if they are sensitive to fragrances. Limited effectiveness for deep pain. Pain relief gels are generally effective for superficial pain, but they may have limitations in providing relief for a deeper pain such as pain originating from internal organs. Potential interactions with medication. Certain pain relief gels, especially those containing NSAIDs, may have the potential to interact with other medications. It's important to consult with a healthcare professional if using multiple medications. As we navigate this exploration, a crucial aspect comes into focus, the safety considerations. While these gels offer relief, it's paramount to understand potential side effects, proper usage guidelines and the necessity of consulting healthcare professionals when needed. Our journey wouldn't be complete without emphasizing the responsible and informed application of these pain relieving aids. 
As we wrap up our journey into the world of pain relieving gels, it's evident that these remedies offer a spectrum of benefits from targeted relief to enhanced daily comfort. Yet, as with any solution, there are nuances to consider. From the soothing touch of menthol to the complexities of managing deeper pain, pain relief gels have revealed both their triumphs and challenges. Remember, understanding these intricacies empowers us to make informed choices tailored to our unique needs. As you navigate the realm of pain relief, may you find solace in the possibilities these gels bring and may your journey toward comfort be as gentle as the relief they provide. Until next time, here's to wellness and the pursuit of pain-free existence.